Welcome to the iGUIDE Career Planning Toolkit of Resources. We are so glad you could join us. This video will focus on embracing and managing change. Today we are going to learn about how to prepare for change, how to deal with ongoing change, and how you can even benefit from such developments. In doing so, our goal is to future-proof your career. So let's get started. The desires of a customer are forever changing. Whether it's a demand for more local produce in multinational outlets or a surge in online shopping. Reasons can range from ethical to economical, but you can always count on trends to come and go. All businesses must adapt in order to meet these ever-changing demands and maintain a competitive edge. In today's age, these changes are increasingly influenced not only by societal preferences, but also by breakthroughs in technology, which are happening faster than ever before. Technology allows businesses to perform faster, more efficiently, and at a lower cost. The automation of a manual process is called digitization. Many believe that speculated job losses resulting from digitization will be balanced by growth in the economy. Digitization generates new business opportunities, new products, and new markets. For example, the development of smartphone applications has created new opportunities for small and medium-sized enterprises. However, there will be substantial changes to job roles and individual tasks with further digitization in the future. It is also expected that the labor force would experience more career changes and workforce transitions due to digitization. Workers now need to be consistently upskilling and reskilling with a focus on developing skills that are complementary to new technologies. Digitization allows workers to do their job better and will present exciting opportunities for you to grow professionally. However, it will incur change, and that can seem scary at first. Sometimes, when we know change is coming, we are initially tempted to ignore it. We want to savour stability for as long as we can before having to face the unknown. As the expression goes, we bury our head in the sand and hope that when we resurface, everything has worked itself out. However, this type of procrastination can hinder your chances of a smooth transition. If you give yourself some time to prepare for change, it is possible to thrive in new situations. So, with that in mind, let's look at some exercises you can do to prepare for change. 1. Make a list of positive outcomes. Begin your mental preparation by thinking about the good things that will come from this new challenge. Continue to add to it as opportunities present themselves, and try to refer to it often. It will remind you why change, even when difficult, can lead to better things. 2. Make a plan for negative aspects. Only you can preempt what aspects of a change pose the most challenge to you. Without dwelling on this too much, note any initial red flags and devise some coping mechanisms. It may involve devoting more time to stress-reducing activities like exercise or meditation, or perhaps organizing a point of contact for additional technical support as you settle into a new role. Three, establish your constants. Even the most momentous of changes won't impact every aspect of your life. You can maintain personal relationships, engage in your hobbies, and continue many of your daily routines. Identifying things that will stay the same will help you to hold on to and enjoy some consistency, even when going through a period of change. 4. Give yourself time to adjust. Expecting the unexpected is only part of the process. You then need to give yourself time to adjust. It is important not to become overwhelmed and to take things one day at a time. Don't look at the mountain. Instead, celebrate each small step. American social psychologist and writer Daniel Gilbert coined the term impact bias, which is a theory that people tend to overestimate the emotional impact of things in two ways, their intensity and their duration. Through a variety of studies conducted by Harvard University, Gilbert concluded that we all have mechanisms to make ourselves feel better and that we engage in these mechanisms more than we realize. We have a whole suite of psychological traits that force us to feel better and we don't even realize we have them. This results in many of us not realising just how powerful and resilient we actually are. We have mechanisms to not feel as bad or bad for as long as we anticipate. Pretty cool, right? So, let's summarise what we learned today. Digitization is the automation of manual jobs. It often takes over simpler tasks and creates new forms of employment while creating changes in the workforce. Change can be scary, but research tells us that actually, you'll be fine. And there are even ways you can prepare yourself to maximise the opportunity presented by the change at hand. Congratulations on completing today's lesson. Be sure to celebrate this step. For more lessons, please log on to the iGUIDE project website.